My buddies over at New Age Electrical have inspired me to do a YouTube video. I have not paid any love to your YouTube whatsoever in the last few months, and I'm going to reward you with another tool bag video. <laughs> so let's do it. Quick stick wall pick. And right, so this is what I'm calling my TP. It's a TPLC. This is my maintenance loadout. So I've been doing a bit of industrial maintenance lately. So this is what I am now carrying in my bag. So just on the um, clear pouch here and in the back, we'll just get this out of the way. Uh, this is what I'm rocking. So I've got the little Wero Zyklop driver for all my sockets and these ones as well. That little one's good, but um, unless you're in a tight space, I don't really, I prefer to use that. So you get all the bits in there. All right, so these are the drill bits for my vessel driver. Right, I've got my Nipex panel key, which is mad. It's got magnets in it. All the keys you could want. And it just sort of clips back together. Kind of a mad fidget spinner. Right, so in the front section here, just got a couple of Irwin Phillips bits, my center punch. Uh, I think that's a Torx bit in there. I'm not going to dig that out. So these are two cool drivers. They're like the Xeno style ones for the vessel. That's good if you're doing breakers or something. Just got a little assortment of cheap files, but they're handy when you need them. A couple of different ones. Got me a little square in there for just, you know, whatever. My little ruler. I don't go anywhere without one of these. I've got one in like every bag and every pocket. Pen. Cold chisel. It's a bit better than smacking on this thing, but um, we'll get to that. So in here for any Imperial bolts that I come across, and like they're usually going to be a smaller than this so that's fine just got my normal termy i've got the adjustable water pump pliers they're like a automatic um ratcheting sort of style one they'll just grab onto anything so whatever you grab so it be uh you know this drill bit here it'll pinch down on that and go tight and i don't know i don't want to damage anything but you know panel key here so you clamp down on that Good bit of force on there, so it's handy, and it will just grab any size. You can just ratchet it. I rate that tool; it's pretty nice. Another tool I rate is the vessel screwdriver. Addicted to Duels uh, gave me this one. Legend. So you get a sticker in there in perpetuity. All right, little uh, double-ended Klein driver, and I've also got in here a little nut runner. So sometimes. Uh, it's just a bit quicker to use one of these for like motor terminals or something. But my Wira Allen keys, they're like the nicest Allen keys, they're just pretty bulky, but they fit in this bag all right, so I love using them. My uh, insulated screwdriver combo kit, the uh, classic Wira beat the shit out of it screwdriver chisel. Works. It still works as a screwdriver, mind you. I mean, that tip is good still. I'm beating the crap out of this. Alright, so then obviously you need a meter. So it's the T6 Pro. Klein magnet on the back. Years on, still going strong. Sides. Needle nose here. Uh, what else we got? Alright, so the twin grips. These are great for maintenance. Absolute great set of pliers to have in the back. Right, and then I've got a few little extension bits here for the drill. Um, if needed, just the Phillips in there living in there. A big assortment of spanners. So I've got a uh, real gear wrench. Um, there's some offset ones, straight ones. Usually doubles up on the sizes, and then the Wira one that I got out of the maintenance kit. That's cool for the holding function. I keep that in there for the holding function. So if you um, you can sit a nut in it, if you see the two lips there. So one way the nut will just hold in there and you can lift it up onto the fastener. Handy in a tight spot once or twice, not gonna lie. We come around here, we've got my little flushies that unfortunately a few people have tried to bite off a bit more they can chew with them. No one owns up to that, of course. Love having this, mate. It's a 100 mil little Barco shifter. Does a lot of work, man, a lot of work. Same with these. These are like another, like carry in my pocket tool. Just handy for everything. 
I'm not doing any terminations, so I don't need my marbles, but it is handy to have a pliers with the um, the grippy bit there, which the marbles don't have, so that's a novelty. Another little nice 100mm Barco shifter that I recently picked up. So this is an extra wide one with a slim, slim reach. Good for glands, actually. Alright, I've got the uh, vessel bits here, uh, bit holders. So I just carry the common stuff that I'd need for industrial, you know. So there's a 5 16th there if I come across any uh, tech screws. That's a Torx bit, and on my driver, you'll see, you know, I've got a Phillips, a Torx 30, a PH1, PH3, and a flat, just in case. You know, gets you out of trouble. And uh, yeah, that if I want to use any of those uh, sockets in the impact, just for a bit of speed. Then, holstery pouch on the side, bonus extra, bonus extra space in a bag that could use one more big pocket. And yeah, I'm just keeping random crap in there at the moment. A bit of tape and a tape and a bit of tape. So that's it. A lot of tools fit in this little bag. I haven't taken them all out, but yeah, I uh, I really like this bag. I keep coming back to it, actually. Um, I bought the uh, big tech pack there, which will be another vid YouTube video one of these days. And uh, I've been using that just as a carry everything bag but i just keep coming back to this little bag man it's just so light gets so much work done and now i am back to lugging two bags on top every day <laughs> but at least this one's easy to carry carry that on my back you can just carry this in my hand and a drill box and you're good to go so yeah we have a thumbnail shot there somewhere i'll see you on the next one i'll try and be a little more active on youtube I, uh, it was a, actually, it was a goal of mine for the year to try and get this channel to 10k. Obviously, I've just not been doing any videos. So maybe it can be my goal for 2024, hit 10k. So we'll see what happens. I don't know what I'm going to be doing video-wise on here. Um, I've got a heap of ideas, but no time. So I've got a few things going on in life and, you know, the kids and everything. It's It's just hard to get time to get out here and film long videos that actually take a bit of planning so this one's just ad lib but you know doing uh videos that are longer you know you actually have to put a bit of planning in it so yeah we'll see if we can get to 10k with uh shitty planning that's my style <laughs> all right i'll see you in the next one